Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. So this is a very cool uh, cherry orange peach jacket. I don't know what to call it, but I got a lot of these white uh, jackets from um, this uh, big washing company. So they get them from different places, uh, different like nursing homes, hospitals, and uh, they wash them. And when they get uh, a little broken, something rips, something tears, they don't use them in the industry anymore. So I just picked up a lot to uh, uh, recycle and to upcycle. So I've taken some textile paint and I'm using this uh, circle foamy spongy bit and just uh, making sure that, yeah, the color doesn't soak through. So I'm adding the color onto the circle foamy bit and then pressing it onto the coat. And it's actually good to have something in between the layers because the color can, can kind of seep through. And I'm using a mix of pink and orange and purple just because I like those colors and I actually like the fact that the, the dots, the circles aren't completely the same color, all of them. So I'm just putting them on randomly and uh, trying to not think too much about the pattern, about how they're placed because yeah, when you start thinking too much about it, then it goes wrong. And as you can see, there are some spots on the coat as well. And uh, making these kind of uh, colored uh, little dots is a good way to hide that. And this is the fast forward of just, yeah, me doing a lot of dots very quickly. And uh, yeah, then they have to dry um, to make sure that the textile paint is completely dry before you do anything more. So it takes a little bit of time because first I make sure to simply make all these dots all these circles and then they have to dry and uh, then you actually have to do the other side so this is then the next step so I've made both sides of the coat and uh, both sides have dried and now I've got my green textile markers and uh, the lighting is a little bit different in here because I did that inside but you can still see what I'm gonna do so not all of these markers were uh, that good. I just uh, I just had some lying around in, lying around in the drawer, so I just I just used what I had. So basically, I'm just painting on a little stem and a little leaf, and I'm just doing that on all of them. And because they were kind of old markers that I had, um, yeah, they kind of went uh, out of function. So I tried to uh, try to see if I could get some. Yeah, some more color in them but but yeah they got a little bit dry towards the end so i actually ended up making them uh, going over them with a different color green marker so if you do this i would definitely recommend that you get some fresh green markers and uh, you don't suddenly run out halfway because that's really annoying and i'm not quite sure what fruit this is and it doesn't doesn't really matter as such this is just uh, yeah some kind of orange, some kind of cherry, and you know, something that has a stem and that has a leaf and um, that makes it super easy. Like basically, if you are doing fruits, it's just a circle in a nice color and some kind of leaf added onto it. And, and then you have it, then that's, that's it. And it's just, uh, it's very, very easy. It takes a little bit of time because you have to do quite a bit of them, but um, once you've gotten, to the end that's fine and uh, this is just me really trying to be careful and really trying to make this marker work even though it doesn't really and of course you also have to make sure that you flatten out the fabric as much as you can when you paint on it so this is the thing a little bit more speed up and i'm putting on another marker uh, in a different color um, just to see if that makes it look a little bit better. And I think it does. So going through all of it again, then it has to dry again and then be fixed with the, the iron, fixed with some heat, and then you can wash it and wear it and look awesome in it. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.